They don't make them like Wayne Cupkey anymore. For many decades, Wayne has been the epitome of dependability at Elmwood Murdoch. Our Lance Schwartz caught up with Wayne on his last day on the job. Lance? Thanks, guys. Could you imagine driving a bus filled with students for the past 8,000 school days? Well, Wayne Cupkey could, and he did. I'll admit, it's kind of hard to fully grasp the idea of just how long Wayne has been behind the wheel of an Elmwood Murdoch bus. But for me personally, it's a bit easier to comprehend because Wayne broke into the bus driving business back in 1970. The very same year, I broke into the kindergarten business 44 years ago. I pretty well got these roads memorized. <laughs> it's going to be very weird looking out the kitchen window after 44 years. There's been all, every bus I've drove has been in my driveway. Everything's Wayne Cupkey's bus control. was his home away from home. You put the armrest down and you sit there and drive. It's got cruise control. <laughs> after six superintendents and five buses, it's time for Wayne to move on. I've drove a little over a million miles and uh, never had an accident except maybe a couple of little mailboxes. I backed out of the driveway, but then they, after I knocked them over, they decided to move them down the road a little bit. Only two mangled mailboxes after a million miles. Not bad. I really like driving. But driving was always the easy part of the job. Every morning you get up, it's a challenge. Are you going to have kids that you got to take to the principal in the winter time? Are you going to make the route and get stuck in the snowbank or mud? But in the end... I just love kids. That's how I stuck with it, I guess, for 44 years. And that kind of dedication inspired superlatives from Superintendent Dan Novak. Remarkable. Dedication. Love for what you do. Love of children. Dependable. Responsible. Caring. I mean, all the things that you would look for an employee, especially in a bus driver, were uh, they're the first person that the kids see every day. They always called me Smiley, but I've always been that way. I'll say a good morning to them. Here comes my little girl. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> see ya. When I was in kindergarten, Wayne drove me to uh, Henry Dorley Zoo for my kindergarten field trip. A few That's years later, Wayne, Wayne trained Dale Vanderford to be a bus driver just like him. The kids love Wayne. When they know he's their bus driver, they, they all get excited. Personality, I'll say that. It was comforting yeah. for Taylor Kupke and all of Wayne's grandkids to know Grandpa was in the driver's seat. It was cool. Like, I remember in kindergarten and stuff, I used to get picked on all the time. And so, like, I'd always go sit up in the front and sit by him, and it'd make me feel better. Thank you, Wayne! How's that feel? You're welcome. <laughs> I'll miss all of you. Well, if you're in the Elmwood Murdoch area this Sunday afternoon, drop by Wayne's Retirement Party. It gets underway at 1 p.m. at the high school. And while you're there, you can wish Wayne a happy 72nd birthday as well. And now, with Wayne's bus driving career in the rearview mirror, he will now have more time to devote to his uh, business. He calls it Farmyard Crafts. <laughs> Check it out on Facebook, Farmyard Crafts. Pretty a special guy we yeah. got there. Those kids will never forget him. No. Ever. Oh, I rode the bus for one one school year, and I, I don't remember a single thing about my bus driver. But all those kids there, you could tell oh. they have a great impression. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. generations yeah. love Wayne. What a guy! Congratulations, Wayne. All right, thank you very much, Lance. We'll update your forecast next. That's the.